morning everybody watson saskatchewan just down the road from humboldt saskatchewan where our delivery is so we got a bunch of pipe on my trailer let's go bring it to where it needs to be we're on time we're on schedule let's get there let's drop that off and let's start heading towards saskatoon where we're going to clean ourselves up have a shower then we're going to head down to edmonton just south of edmonton in Nisku. i've got to load something up tomorrow morning let's get going in this little pullout which is made specifically for trucks there's a sign here that says we can stay here for 36 hours if we need be for a full reset which is awesome not very many communities do that for us truckers so shout out to Watson Saskatchewan for recognizing what truckers actually need I was talking about it yesterday the truck parking in British Columbia in the lower mainland only allows you to stay there for 24 hours but in Canada, much like the US, we need to stop for a full reset to reset our logbook for another week. It's sort of like they force us to take a weekend. In Canada, we need to stop for 36. The US, we need to stop for at least 34. So I'm always stopping for 36. So when you tell me I can only stay there for 24 hours, that means nothing to me. That doesn't do anything for me. I need 36 hours legally, like by law. So Watson, Saskatchewan, a town run by people who understand truckers. I love it. Just gonna turn around, go the opposite direction here, make a left. Definitely gonna remember this place if I ever come through here again. If your town does that for truckers and understands like that, I will come and spend my money in your businesses.
pipe from the other load. At least one other truck has been here already, so maybe the other one's not, hasn't been here yet, I don't know. I'm gonna line myself up here and wait to get unloaded. Oh, it's a little chilly out here, chillier than I thought. So I let them know that I'm here and they uh, acknowledged my message. Couldn't get a hold of them on the phone, so I sent a text message and I sent back, okay. And I am just assuming that I'm at the right place because that's over there. So I wanna wait till they get here before I take all my straps off just in case I'm at the wrong place and I need to move. I don't wanna to have to tie it all back down again, right? So that's happened before. <laughs> So I'll make sure I'm in the right spot and then I'll take all my straps off and they can unload me real quick. They said that they would be here, so maybe they're on coffee break or something. That's probably what's going on. Probably one of those machines over there that's gonna unload me and they just went in for some coffee. I don't blame them. I haven't had coffee today yet either. I need coffee as soon as we're done here. Paperwork is signed. Finished with it. Done with it. Ready for something new. Here's my trailer. I got my tarps up at the front here already. Trailer's empty. Now I'm going to go to the other side of town here. There's supposed to be like a, a truck wash, like a wand wash. I don't need anything big. I just need to go in there for like 10 minutes just to get the dirt off my tanks, my wheels, and my stacks and stuff off the front and the back. Just pretty much just to rinse it. I just want to rinse it. I can polish it later myself. I got all my bull snot with me and all my uh, microfibers. We'll have fun with that later. But this is where we're at now. Empty, headed to Nisku, Alberta. Gotta get some of this off of here. Leave those rocks on here. Now I'm gonna jump up there. Headed west from the east side of Humboldt to the west side of Humboldt. This is where we have a truck wash that I found. Hopefully there's no one in there right now. Hmm. There's a small little one called Five West Car and Truck Wash. Looks like there's one bay there for tractor trailers. Hopefully you don't got some guy in there washing his lifted pickup or something, you know? <laughs> so often I see that. You know, there's one bay for big trucks that we need, and then there's like four bays for cars and pickups. But the big lifted pickups, they think they need the big, the big wash bay, right? <laughs> Excuse me. We'll see what happens. All right, so here it is. Put the window over here. Now, it looks pretty tight, but they say I would be able to get in there. However, in true Saskatchewan fashion, they are uh, busy washing a combine at the moment. So we're not gonna wait around. It's gonna be a while. We'll go find a different one. Okay, so I've been doing my research and I found a pretty cool truck wash that I'm gonna go and check out. Uh, the Petro Pass truck stop. It's actually right behind the Petro Pass. I never knew there was a truck wash right there. I've spent the night there how many times over the last decade? There's a truck wash right behind it, and you can use your Super Pass, like your your fuel card, to pay for it, apparently. I, I self confirmed that by going there, but how convenient is that if you don't have cash on hand or you can pay with a credit card? So it used to be whenever you'd go into these self serve truck washes, you'd have to have coins, right? So annoying. Who carries all these coins everywhere? Uh, so this, this seems like it should be pretty pretty good uh, where is it again it is called the Saskatoon wash world it's just down the street from the Petro Pass truck stop actually not right behind it maybe that's why I've never noticed it uh, it seems to be linked with Petro Pass though I mean we'll see when we get there it looks like they have like 24 bays or this one has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten bays right here it's on Faithful Avenue in Saskatoon I'm gonna go give that a look and uh, it's about an hour, hour and a bit down the road. We'll pull in there. If they have so many bays, we should be able to sneak into one, right? Just rinse the truck off and then I can polish it once we get to Edmonton or in Saskatoon if I feel like it there. But I wanna get a parking spot because I'm gonna probably park at the Flying J in Sherwood Park 
in Edmonton, and that fills up so quickly. So I'm probably just gonna rush over there, get a spot, and then do my polishing, my polishing magic. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But I gotta get it washed on the way there, though. I can't leave this dirt sitting on my on my polish. That'll just wreck it. That's the thing about when you have your truck polished, you have to keep it clean. If you leave it dirty for a few days, it just dulls your shine right away, right? Unless if you constantly keep, but it's fun. I like doing it, it's fun for me. So at least I enjoy it, right? That's what matters. I like driving a clean truck in the summertime. In the wintertime, that's a different story. I give up in the wintertime, there's no way. But at least through the nice months of the year, I, I wanna give my all. So let's get going here. It's, uh, I got my Timmy's. I stopped here on the west side of Humboldt again, just around the corner. Got myself a coffee, a wrap, and a donut. I'm feeling good. It's going to be a good day. It's a beautiful day out here on the prairies. And it wouldn't be a day in Saskatchewan without them throwing some gravel on the highways and calling it repairs. Glad I didn't wash the truck in Humboldt now. Polish costs like over a thousand dollars. I got a pretty good deal on it this year, but it would usually be about like fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars, depending on how much needs to be done. And so I go obviously take a lot of time to avoid gravel and avoid anything that will mess up that expensive polish job. And then this happens. Like, come on. How long does this go on for? As far as I can see out in the horizon yet. Which is a long ways in Saskatchewan. Oh my. My truck is not an off-road truck. There should definitely be warnings. There should definitely, definitely be warnings well before we get here. Said, I'm actually kind of furious about this. Uh, that was. I might need to at least write a letter. A lot of people wouldn't mind the gravel, right? I get it. But hey, if you want to pay for my polish, that's uh, that's fine. I'll drive on your gravel, but. Some of us take a little pride in our vehicles and spend a lot of money and time just shinying them up, just to have them destroyed by that. Unacceptable in my mind, unacceptable. All right, Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan. Saskatoon, Saskatoon, what? Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. We're just about here. We're gonna see the Petropass truck stop on our right. Turn right on Faithful Avenue. So here's the truck stop right here. So it's not actually right behind it, but it's just down the road from it to the right here. So this is Faithful Avenue. stop. I've spent many nights here. Approaching destination in 600 meters on the right side. truck in there. I believe the bays are 120 feet long. Here it is. Okay now, is this the exit or is this the entrance? 
Exit only. Okay, so we, we gotta get around to the back. Destination. On the right side, 3058, Faithful Avenue. Yeah, there it says Petro Pass, right over on the top of it. No way! So you can pay with your fuel card here. You get billed at the end of the month with your fuel. No way! Well, I wonder if there's more of these across the country? That is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna have to go inside and uh, ask how everything works, because I'm new. I see a bay opening there already. Are they opening it for me already? Do they want me to drive in there? They just opened that bay door and it's empty. I'm wondering if they want me to pull right in there already? I don't know. I'm gonna go inside, ask how it all works, and then we'll figure out from there. This is awesome. Yep, that was for me. They saw me rolling in. I hadn't called ahead or anything. They just saw me rolling in and opened up a door for me. So I could have just driven straight in. Look how many bays they have here. How many wash bays? What's the biggest blue beacon you've ever seen? Maybe like, what, four bays? It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten at least? Holy smokes, look at this. I think I gotta rinse it down myself, but I think they also have people you can pay to do it for you here. We're gonna find out. Look at this, they got like these ramps on either side. On the right and left, so you can get up there and wash the top of the truck. No way. No way, I'm pumped. How did I not know this was here the whole time? And the guy I talked to did confirm, you can pay with your uh, Super Pass card. We just have to go in and double check, make sure it works. If not, then a credit card works too. Wow. shades off so I can see what I'm doing in here. Prescription shades. Uh, the light. I'm excited. I am. I have just found a gem, a hidden gem that I didn't know existed. Finding a truck wash. Wow. You know what? No, I want to I use my, I'm washing the truck. I want to use my work glasses. Pardon me. Work glasses. Here we go. Okay. Oh, those are dirty. That's okay. They're work glasses. I got a little carried away and did the whole truck. I was just going to rinse off the rims and my polish stuff, but I figured I'm in here anyway. Why not? Now we just got to bring her out, let her dry off, and then give her a little polish. And then we're ready to go down the road. Just check the time before we go. Just Make sure that we got lots of time. I'm pretty sure. My appointment for tomorrow is 9 a.m. So I'm pretty sure we got lots of time yet. But looking clean, looking clean. Not too bad for an old girl. That headache rack, I know. It's uh, that's a whole project on its own to polish. So another summer, it'll just stay like that. That's okay. Just focus your eyes down here. So my review of this place is 10 out of 10, five out of five. So you gotta wash it yourself, but that's okay. They got 10 bays at least, I think maybe 12. So you're almost guaranteed to be able to get in right away. It took me 30 minutes from when I rolled in to the time I'm rolling out now. Costs a dollar 60 Canadian per minute. So uh, with tax and everything included, cost me $50 and 40 cents. That is half the price what I would pay at Blue Beacon and about the same amount of time. And I'm running out of here clean. I just have to do the work myself, so. Oh, and the guy's already out here. He's gonna clean out the wash bay. So they clean it out once you're done. That is, that is. So my Petro Pass card wasn't authorized to, uh, to pay for truck washes, I'll have to call in, see if they can authorize that. So if yours is authorized or you can get yours authorized to use it for this, you can use your Petro Pass fuel card. I just use a credit card that paid, just, paid for it just fine. Like I said, $50. I'm going to park right out front of the bay here for a second and uh, wipe everything down. Really good experience. Really good experience. If you don't mind getting out of the truck and doing some of the work yourself, uh, Absolutely, I'd recommend it. Your glasses might get a little dirty though in the meantime, just heads up. 
feeling much better now. Ran inside, clean myself. Look at me. Look at me. Ooh. Ooh. I know. Don't everybody jump at the screen at once. All cleaned up. I'm ready to head to Edmonton. So let's try to get a spot at... Uh, I think I'm going to stop at Sherwood Park. I might go right to Niskew. There is two truck stops there, but they have very limited parking. And I'm going to be getting there around supper time. So maybe there'll be spots there for us. Maybe. There's a Flying J there and there's a Petro Pass right in Niskew. Right down the road from where I got to be in the morning. So see how I feel when we get in that area. Let's go. Once we get to those orange posts over there on either side of the road, we'll be in Lloydminster, Alberta. And I'm hoping we're not going to run into any rain. Uh, the clouds are forming in front of us. We'll see what happens. really like to avoid the rain, but hey, I'll take the rain over more gravel. In 600 meters, keep to the left on Trans-Canada Highway, Highway 16. No, I wasn't planning on turning. You see my turn signal on, Karen? Just in case you were getting any ideas, you should go straight. Just keep on going straight. in Alberta, Sherwood Park Flying J. Let's see if I can find a parking spot here. I don't know. This place is pretty sketchy to park in. I mean, this is one of those stops where you got to be very careful where you put your truck because if you're not very careful, you're going to get your hood ripped off. It's full already. The time is quarter after 8 p.m. here. We're in mountain time. And it looks full. These are the best spots right here where these guys are nosed in. Oh, yeah, there's some spots right beside them there, yeah. But... Oh, they're reserved. Okay, I'd have to pay for those ones. Yikes. I think there are some spots here. This guy nosed in on the right. How's he gonna get out? How are you gonna back out of that spot in the morning? So there are spots here off to my right, but they are not safe to park in. And you got super bees taking up most of it there. I don't think I'm gonna get a spot here. I don't think I am. I do not feel comfortable in any of those spots. this guy here on the right who parked there so I can't back into this spot on the left it's too close and I don't trust it because he's not gonna be the only one parking there there's gonna be more people parking beside him and I'll be blocked in in the morning is this a spot right here is this a spot no oh, there's a bobtail ah bobtail How about this? Is this a spot? Uh, I don't trust it again because you're going to get blocked in. There's a bobtail in there anyway. Ah, wonderful. Half these spots are bobtails. Am 
Must be nice. Must be nice. Yeah, we're full. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll do one more loop around, but uh, I am thinking we will be moving on. I might have to go to Atchison to park there. That's way on the other side of the city. My reload is in Nisku tomorrow, which is south of Edmonton. It's a beautiful sunset out here in Nisku. I found a parking spot, or I made a spot. Everything is packed full over there. So here we sit, out of the way. Just got the whole truck wiped down again because I drove through some rain. And this is where we sit. Until tomorrow. I think I said that already. Those the Petro Pass. My pickup is right over there. Just around the corner. Very close. So. I'm ready to go to bed. The sun set, so that means it's got to be close to 10 o'clock at night already. If not later. That's the Flying J right across the street there. They have maybe eight spots to park. And the Petro Pass here has maybe 15. Plus, you know, there's one there. One in front of them there along the side of the driveway. There's this spot here along the driveway here. So you can fit maybe 20 trucks in here comfortably. But you know they're gonna try and fit 30 in here, so. I wanted a spot like this for in the morning so that I would guaranteed not be blocked in. And I was right, it is 10.22 at night. 10.22 p.m. So good night everybody, thanks for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to subscribe, we make new videos every day. We're here in Alberta. We're gonna be hanging out in Alberta for the rest of the week until that big rig expo that's happening next weekend. Hope I got to meet you there by the time you watch this. It'll probably already be over. If you were able to swing by, it was great to meet you. I know you're a great person already and I haven't even met you yet. <laughs> uh, drive safe out there everybody and uh, pay attention to the road. I'll see you tomorrow.